Welcome friends. Welcome to Bangladesh Plus Academy video. In our foreign exchange simplified series, today we are going to discuss merchanting trade. What is merchanting trade? Merchanting trade is a trains, trade transaction where both import transaction and export transactions are involved. Here, both the supplier and buyer of goods will be resident outside India. That is, the buyer of goods will be in a foreign country. Similarly, the seller of the goods also will be in another foreign country and the intermediary or the merchanting trader will be in India. And the goods do not actually enter or leave the host country that is the country of the merchant trader. That means if the merchant trader is in India and he is doing a transaction, merchant trade transaction involving Dubai and USA, the goods do not come into India. See here, the merchant trader is in India. He is arranging some goods to be transported from USA to Dubai. So the buyer is in Dubai, the seller is in USA. The goods do not enter into India. They go directly from USA to Dubai. For this, the merchant trader receives the inward remittance for the goods exported to the buyers and affects outward remittance for the goods, or goods he has bought from the seller. And the difference between the inward remittance and outward remittance is the profit for the merchant trader. See this example. In the previous case, he is receiving an order from Dubai and for exporting some goods. The value of the goods is $1,200. So he is receiving $1,200 from his party in Dubai. Then he is placing an order with the seller in USA and he is entering into a contract with the seller in USA for US dollar 1000. That means there is, he is getting a profit of US dollar 200 in this transaction. And he is also coordinating for shipment of goods from USA to Dubai. So thereby he is getting US dollar to 200 as profit and in this way he is also earning just like exporters he is also earning foreign exchange for the country. There is also another variant in transactions in uh, merchant trade transaction where it happens that the merchant trader imports goods and it comes to India actually it comes to India but it does not leave the customs warehouses. So it is kept in a bonded warehouse under customs supervision where it is repacked by the merchant trader. And this is basically done to exercise a monopoly over the goods from where the importer is procuring the goods. That is to mask the transaction so that the importer does not get to know about the supplier. That means he doesn't want his party, that is the exporter, to know from where this merchant has, merchant trader has sourced the goods. So this also happens, but uh, it's rare. Merchant trading is a permitted transaction and it is governed by some rules. So it's governed by our foreign trade policy. It is foreign trade policy, FEMA 99. Foreign Exchange Management Act 99, Foreign Exchange Management Current Account Transaction Rules 2000, and similarly instructions or directives issued by RBI from time to time, UCPDC 600 Uniform Customs and Practices for Documentary Credit version 600, CBDT guidelines, and of course KYC AML guidelines. The FEMA guidelines for merchant transactions are 
it should be ensured that goods involved in the transactions are permitted for exports or imports under the prevailing foreign trade policy of india that means the goods which the merchant trading, uh, trader is dealing should actually in the normal case it should be some goods which are permitted to be imported into india or is it is permitted to be dealt by or uh, say importer or exporter in the normal course and goods involved should not enter into the domestic tariff area in the normal case and the state of the goods should not undergo any transformation and also because this transaction is just like an important trans import export transaction uh, done together the rules and regulations applicable to export except export declaration form and import except bill of entry that is bill of entry is not to be submitted so all these regulations which are related to or which are applicable to exports and imports should be complied with so these are the fema guidelines for merchant trade transactions and also it should be ensured that every merchant tra trade transaction should be completed within a period of 6 months and uh, the transaction should not involve foreign exchange outlay outlay for a period exceeding 3 months so these are the guidelines uh, related to merchant trading transaction please subscribe to our channel bankers plus academy